Alright, so I want to go over the two new Godku cards and their Doken Awakening. So what we're going to do in this video is just talk about the two ones, the two of them, the Physical Godku and the Intelligence Godku. I will be talking about the new Doken Rebirths from the World Tournament, and I will be doing the new Weeses, but not in this video. So if you're interested in seeing that, please subscribe if you're new here. I will be releasing the Weese one most likely tomorrow morning, and then I'll be doing the Rebirths tomorrow night. So stay tuned for that. Uh, this video, we're going to go over the cards, the Doken Awakening, and then we're going to do some team building towards the end. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, as you all know, White Hot Face Off Goku. Super Saiyan Goku. This is the SR variant for the physical Godku card. He Doken Awakens. And he has Doken Awaken with 10 Videl Medals, 10 Gohan, 10 Vegeta, 3 Goten, and 5 Trunks. I know, pain in the butt. Uh, he's Dokening from the Battle of Gods event, and you gotta get the medals from Stage 1 for Beer, Stage 2 for Whis, Stage 5 for Gohan, Stage uh, 6 for Goten and Trunks, and Stage 7 for Vegeta, and Videl is Stage 8. Um, you also can get some Whis medals from Stage 11, which is something else. Um, so anyway... That's that. When he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens in State of God, Super Saiyan God Goku. This is the um, the SSR variant, the TU, well, the one that uh, Doken Awakens from the SR White Hot Face Off Goku. Now, two things about this card. One, he is a decent unit. He does extreme damage, but he was good back in the day. But he can be fed into any of the other God Goku cards. So the, those God Goku cards are semi farmable because the SR variants are a lot more common to pull. So you can Doken Awaken them when the Battle of God event comes out, which is, I know it's a pain in the ass to do to grind all those medals, but it is possible. So if you like those Goku cards and you're going to be utilizing them in the future, I would recommend doing that to get their super attacks increased. Let's go ahead and talk about the card. Leader skill, physical type, attack plus, 20, uh, plus 50%, super attack, limit breaker, Kamehameha, extreme damage, passive skill, divine combat, strength and physical type, attack plus 20%. Not bad for a passive skill, link skills, godly power, warrior god, super saiyan, Kamehameha, all in the family. Max stats are HP of 7352, attack of 6457, and defense of 4146. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Doken Awakens with 5 Beerus Medals. Now that's the Beerus Medals from the God of Destruction event, uh, the Doken event. So just go on to the last stage, God of Destruction's Wrath, and you'll have to grind those out. It's not as hard as it used to be, considering the, the cards that you now have available, especially with these Doken Awakenings that are coming out. So you can go ahead and take on that event to get the, Do to get the Medals of Doken Awaken in. He Dokens into Fate Full Strike, Super Saiyan God, Goku, new leader abilities, physical and strength type, key plus two, attack and defense plus 50%. His super attack causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, exploring the world of gods. Physical and strength type, key plus two, attack plus 25%. So it becomes a very good support unit for physical and for strength. So if you're running either one of those teams, he's going to do very, very well along with them. His link skills are Godly Power, Warrior God, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, All in the Family, the Saiyan Lineage, and Fierce Battle. So other than the Saiyan Lineage, he essentially has all attack buffs. <laughs> he becomes a very good um, attack linking buddy. His max stats are now HP of 8655, attack of 7410, and defense of 4335, and he has, still has a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Kind of sucks, but overall, not a bad unit. Um, he is more meant for support anyway, so he's not going to be meant for a primary damage dealer. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the Intelligence one. This is the base form, or the SSR variant. Uh, Super Saiyan, Savior of Legends, Super Saiyan God Goku, Leader Ability, Intelligence Type, Attack plus 50%. Limit Breaker Kamehameha is a super attack, causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill is adapting to change. Attack and defense plus 70% up when HP is 50% or above. This is really where he got shafted just because of that 50% restrictive. No one really likes that. Uh, it's very hard to keep yourself over 50%. Uh, link skills are Godly Power, Shocking Speed, Super Saiyan, Over in a Flash, and Kamehameha. Overall, pretty damn good link skills. Um, <clears throat> his max stats are HP of 86.25, attack of 79.10, and defense of 29.88. That defense is just utter garbage. Um, he now he has a 12 key multiplier of 140%, and he requires 12 Beerus medals in order to Doken Awaken. So when he Doken Awakens, though, uh, Accelerated Battle, Super Saiyan God Goku. His new leader skill is Intelligence, Strength Type, Key plus 2, Attack, and Defense plus 50%. Still not really good of a leader. Uh, super Attack causes Supreme Damage to the enemy and lowers defense. I kind of wish that was lowers attack. That might make him a little bit more viable, like you'd actually want to run him. Passive skill, what lies beyond Godhood. Attack and defense plus 80% when HP is 30% or above. That is a lot more viable. He becomes a lot more viable because it's 30% or above at this point in the game. Plus, that defense buff makes him tank a hell of a lot more. Uh, though, we're going to talk about his stats in a second. Um, he this he is becomes a lot better of a unit just because it's 30% or above. Link skills are 
Godly Power, Shocking Speed, Super Saiyan, Over and a Flash, Kamehameha, the Saiyan Lineage, and Shattering the Limit. His max stats are HP of 9389, Attack of 8426, and Defense of 3933. His defense is still just really, really low. I mean, that 80% um, uh, buff that he gets to his defense makes him a little bit more viable, but overall, I just I hate that the fact that he has almost no defense. Um, his 12 key multiplier is 140%, so at least he'll be doing some decent damage. Supreme damage with attack plus 80% and 140 12 key multiplier. He's an overall good damage dealer. Let's go ahead and talk about some team building real quick. Um, on this one right here, I kind of just brought a couple cards out for a mono heroes team. Um, he links well with the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus very well, at least the agilities, the, the Kaioken Goku, the agility Goku, and the technique Goku. I believe they're all the same link skills, though. Um... That they uh, actually use uh, Super Saiyan Kamehameha Warrior Gods Fierce Battle, uh, Super Saiyan Kamehameha Warrior Gods. Yep, same thing. And yeah, so all they have the same ones. It's just essentially all the attack buffs. So if you're running a mono agility team, even though he is not going to his passive isn't going to buff them, his at least his link skills will. He is giving what 25% um, attack just from his link skills alone. Warrior Gods is attack plus 1200 and Kamehameha plus 2500. So that's what 3700 plus 25%. So overall, not bad. That's who he links with in terms of just mono heroes. Um, we also have this. I brought this out now. This is for the strength variant because he does buff strength team. Now, he's not going to be a primary unit. You could run him on a mono strength team if you want because he does buff strength units. I'm not saying you're going to want to run him. But what another thing you could take into consideration is if you have a Vegito Blue, you could run Vegito Blue. You could have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. You could have him on rotation. So that way, he gives them some uh, key and attack buffs, even though they won't really need the key. Um, or you could actually just do the Super Saiyan, uh, the uh, the Rage Trunks, because that way they get more of attack buff. But anyway, th th that's just you know different topic right there. Um, he links well with the Brolies, both of these two Brolies as well. So you could do um, a mono, uh, mo a mono hero, a uh, mono hero, a mono strength team with Broly. He gets Super Saiyan, Saiyan lineage, and Fierce Battle. Even the OG Broly, so he'll be giving them key plus one. Um, so essentially on a mono heroes team or a mono strength team, um, he is a pretty damn decent linking buddy. Um, let's see, he really only shares three link skills with each of the cards on the mono strength team. And the only reason why he really links well with Broly's is because of the Super Saiyan link, otherwise Broly probably wouldn't be on there. Uh, one other thing I did want to bring up is on a mono uh, physical team. He does have some good linking buddies on a mono physical team. Now, unfortunately, the Pan is going to probably be on rotation because I believe she's a good support unit. But he does link with Pan with uh, All in the Family, which isn't really that great. Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, and Fierce Battle, and the Ultimate Gohan, which I know he's not utilized, guys. I know, I'm sorry. He, he's just, like, not utilized at all. But he does have some good link skills. Um, they're more right now flat out buffs, but he does get uh, Fierce Battle, Kamehameha, Saiyan Lineage, and All in the Family. But in terms of primary units that he will, that he can link with, I mean, just look at this. He could, you'll probably, you could run him like this. Uh, you could run the Super Vegito Blue um, alongside the Super Saiyan, uh, the TUR Gotenks, Super Saiyan Gotenks. Um, you could run the Goku on rotation. That way you can link with them, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Fierce Battle, and Super Saiyan Kamehameha, Fierce Battle. And you, I guess you could keep the Broly, because you're going to do a mono uh, physical team. Broly's going to have to be there for at least now. Um, Broly and the Kaioken Goku. Kaioken, uh, the Kaioken Goku, the Super Kaioken Goku, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, and Fierce Battle. And the Broly is going to be the Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, and Fierce Battle. So overall, on a mono physical team, he's really good. He does have a lot of good linking buddies on a mono strength team. If you want to run him there, I'm not saying he's going to be viable. But if you're lacking good support units or you don't have a lot of strength units, you can put him there. And in terms of a hero's team, all the, well, the three main blue Gokus, the technique the, and the two agility ones, he'll be linking with. Now, in terms of the intelligence one, um, on a hero's team, uh, he links with a hell of a lot of cards. Now, as you see here, again, it's that, that Super Kaioken Goku is definitely going to be on that list. Um, I kept the intelligence ones off because I do the mono intelligence separate, and then there's just way too much clutter. So, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is the first one you're going to see over here. He shares four link skills with him. That being Super Saiyan Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, and Over in a Flash. So this guy will definitely be getting um, a lot of super attacks off when they're linked together. Uh, so that's one viable person you can link with. He actually hits both of his attack links off. So you could actually run him on a mo like a Rage Trunk team, Trunks team, and he'll actually get the uh, the key links off with him. So that way he'll be they'll both be supering a lot. The other noticeable one is going to be the Kaioken Blue Goku um, and the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyaman slash Gohan. That's four key they share, 10% attack buff and a 2500 flat out boost. 
and I believe it's the same thing for the Kaioken Blue, which is 10, 25. Uh, instead of uh, four, they share five key. Um, again, the Super Kaioken is five key, 2510%. This Goku is not really going to be viable at all, but they do share some links. Three key, attack plus 2500 and 10%. Um, oh, and then the uh, two Kaiokens over here, which is, they actually share a lot of links. Uh, that's what, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he shares eight links with the physical Kaioken Goku from the World Tournament Rewards. Um, the TUR version of him, by the way. And attack plus 2500 for the Kamehameha. And the same exact thing for the other Agility Doken Awaken Kaioken Goku. So they'll be hitting off all the attack links. I mean, key links. Jesus, man. What is that? Two, four... Five, six, seven, eight more. Yeah, eight links just, just for them. Assuming you guys don't have anyone else linked to them, eight key links just off the bat. Insane. Um, plus, you know, his passive, so he's going to be hitting hard. Overall, really good, good team, guys. And then on a mono intelligence team, as you guys probably already noticed, your eyes probably drawn to it. LR Gohan, he links with three link skills with him. So that's pretty decent. Um, I believe it's just basic Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, and Shocking Speed. Yeah. Um, and then you have the TUR Gohan, the. Um, Token Waken, OG, SSR Gohan, the teen adult Gohan, uh, Super Saiyan, the one that Token Awakens, the intelligence one, uh, the buff Ku card from the World Tournament, the kid Goku, the, the future Goku Jr. card, um, and the Whis card. Again, guys, the Whis card, remember, I'm going to be doing a video on the Whis's tomorrow morning, so make sure you subscribe so in order to make sure you get the notification about that. But overall, he does really well on a mono intelligence team. Uh, he may not be the optimal for a mono intelligence team, but on a mono, especially on a mono heroes team, it, he has some decent link skills. Um, he, again, may not be the most optimal, but he will be very viable because he does share a lot of link skills. But overall, guys, both of these cards are very good. I I really like both of them. Personally, I like the physical one better. I don't know what it is. I'm kind of drawn to the physical cards. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, uh, go ahead, Doken Waken them if you can. Um, also, just make sure, like I said before earlier in the video, the SSR variant will feed into the Intelligence one, so if you have a whole bunch of these white hot face off Gokus, wait for the God uh, Bottle of Gods event, grind out the medals, I know it's a pain in the ass, but get him to SSR, uh, Z awaken him to, t to um, Ultra Rare, and then feed him into any of the different uh, Super Saiyan God Goku cards in order to benefit yourself. But thank you for joining me here today, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys later.